Canada's largest daycare has reopened. Or as you know it, Parliament. <laughs> Can you guess what was first on the MP's agenda? Healthcare? GST? No. They gave themselves a salary increase. And who said crime doesn't pay? <laughs> Kickstarting the 39th Parliament was the throne speech. Everyone who was there was captivated by Stephen Harper's infectious charisma. <laughs> Don't worry, she's okay. Luckily, her fall was broken by Harper's stomach. <laughs> Have you seen our little prime ministerial pie wagon? In Afghanistan, he said he would not cut and run. Well, that's one promise I guarantee he won't break, because he's not cut and he's too fat to run! <laughs> now, I do admit, Mr. Harper has set himself some lofty goals. To address this, we're going to clean up the federal government, make it more accountable and above board. I like that. A prime minister who's honest and won't keep any secrets from the people. Well, Mr. Speaker, I don't think I've been accused of ever seducing anyone, even my <laughs> wife. Okay. Too much information. Now, speaking of public embarrassments, we can't forget our former Prime Minister. <laughs> On second thought, we can! I think the Liberals can be summed up in two words. <laughs> now, since this is Good Friday, we must hear a few words from Canada's very own Judas, David Emerson. I, I am very, very proud to have been asked to serve in the cabinet of this new government, in this cabinet. And I, I, believe, I believe I made a very, a very good decision. Very, very, I believe, believe, believe. This lad is full of good decisions and karma. In fact, he's already decided to star in a new TV comedy called My Name is Weasel. <laughs> the Conservatives plan to cut a number of climate change programs. This news has Jack Layton's recyclable thong in a knot. How is cutting the funding for climate change initiatives going to get us towards the commitment that's been made in this speech from the throne? Finally, someone in Ottawa who's environmentally conscious. Don't believe me? Check out Mr. Layton during the last election. Just look at him. Everyone's freezing their whisker biscuits off while Layton stays toasty with two... Count them two electric heaters! <laughs> I guess that furry rat growing under his nose isn't enough to keep him warm! <laughs> Easy, Bessie. So, to my bonnie Stephen Harper, I say be careful as you walk the minority government tightrope. One wrong step and your government will be just like someone else. 